Okay, folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm backcountry camping with uh, my dog, Bear. We just got to our campsite on Ragged Lake. It's about, uh, I don't know, maybe 7K back from Highway 60. Just one portage, but I brought a lot of stuff, so it was a little bit of a adventure. Anyway, so we just set up camp, and we're just kind of chilling out. It's late afternoon. Just want to show you kind of what I got going on here. I got my weather uh, radio playing some Moose FM out of Huntsville. It's not that far. And my bear spray. And my last uh, Yeti. I always bring a Yeti bottle or jug uh, full of ice. So I come in and I get a nice ice uh, water. And then I can fill it up with ice. And I get a nice cold drink for about two days in. So uh, I just cleaned the fire. I added some rocks to the back. It's all my cooking gear. It's my mock kitchen. I'm glamping this year, so I brought my dog and I brought a cot. So that was a, a big hassle to bring it in, but as you can see, Bear's enjoying it. And I also brought Bear's bed, because backcountry camping with your dog is awesome, especially when they enjoy themselves. So he's been up since about 7 o'clock this morning, doing a bunch of running around, saw another dog at the portage there, and I think now he just wants to chill out. But Beautiful lake. Uh, we'll have some adventures over the next couple of days. I'm here practicing for the Muskoka River X. So I'm kind of dead center of the race. Uh, the Ox Tongue River is kind of to my left. And then uh, there's a whole bunch of lakes and portages to my right. And I'm gonna practice those portages over the next couple of days. Uh, and then come back in late August and practice the Ox Tongue River. So that'll be another adventure that I uh, share on my channel. But anyways, that's my intro. We are here and uh, we're gonna have a, a good adventure over the next couple of days. We're gonna do some good cooking. I brought the Yeti cooler. Uh, we got lots of protein in there, and uh, the weather looks like it's going to be beautiful for the next three days. So on the east end of Ragged Lake is a natural beach. It's marked that way on the Algonquin Jeff's maps or maps by Jeff's or Jeff made maps or whatever they're called these days. It's beautiful. So we're gonna go uh, check it out. There's nobody here. There's no lounge chairs though. People have been here before, as evidenced by the hat. See that massive snake there? My dog doesn't see it yet. It's huge. It's just gonna chill under there. Lots of animals around. Beautiful beach, west facing, so you get lots of sun right to the end of the day. Okay, so tonight, we're boiling water because <clears throat> we're gonna have spaghetti with clams. So I brought in a can of Little Neck Clams drain them. I've got uh, fresh tomatoes, fresh kale from my garden, an egg, <clears throat> hot sauce, salt, and then the pasta. I'm going to cook the pasta once the water boils and then bring it all together in the pan and then enjoy it. I'll uh, show you what it looks like once it all comes together.
All right, so there you have it. Spaghetti with clams, fresh tomatoes, some kale for my garden. I put an egg in there to add a little bit of carbonara flair. A little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of salt. It's gonna go down good. Maybe about 200 yards that way. It's hard to see them, but that's who they're talking with. Loons are awesome. They mate for life. They're beautiful. I love their song or their sound, their call, whatever you want to call it. It's beautiful, beautiful animals representing Algonquin Park in Northern Ontario to me. Okay, and this is the portage to Smoke Lake. This is probably one of the harder portages in Muskoka X, and uh, it's fun. So it's a bit of a mud show at the beginning. But we'll see how it is in a couple of months. It's mid-July, so. I'm sure it'll change a bit. So this is the first, I don't know, 100 meters or so. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Looks like most of the uh, portages are going hard left. Up here. And then it gets a bit more manageable. I'm going to be pulling a cart, so I'm going to have to lift it for that first little bit there. And then I should be able to put it on a cart by here. A little bit of an uphill, and then for the most part it's down. There's about 200 meters on the back side that are about a 10 degree decline, so that'll be interesting. So about 200 meters in and it gets a little bumpy. Nothing you can't manage. Probably have to carry it through this spot. And then throw it back on the cart. 300 meters. It's flat, I'm gonna fly through here. Easy to pull on the cart. Relatively flat, not a lot of rocks. So, I don't know, we're 550, 600 meters in. And you can see the decline. I'm gonna have to carry my kayak or a bunch of this. Maybe I'll get around some of this, but wherever I stop, I'll unlatch and then just carry it and then just do two carries through until I can get the kayak back on the cart. And then I'm just a one carry. Cart is not gonna be able to fit over this bridge, so definitely gonna have to carry it through this. And I should be able to 
rehook up the cart right here. And then the last 200 meters is pretty easy. I should be able to cart it all the way in. Okay, tonight we're having pork chops, center cut loin pork chops. And uh, those I put in the freezer and I pulled the day we left, the morning of, and the one here is still like a little frozen, so uh, Yeti Cooler doing its job. We're gonna boil some potatoes and make some buttered potatoes. Really, really easy and a good carb calorie fill for you. And I'm just gonna chop up a tomato for an appetizer. There you have it. Campfire pork chops with uh, buttered boiled potatoes. Benefits of having a Yeti cooler. Showers starting around 10 a.m. this morning. With a rainfall warning issued by Environment Canada, we could see as much as 50 millimeters of rain by tomorrow morning. Another 5 to 10 millimeters tomorrow afternoon. Finally clearing up. 21 are high for Thursday. Cloudy and high 21 today are low. So it's Wednesday morning and we're going to haul out. The weather is calling for heavy rain in about two hours. And it's going to last all day, all night, and all day into tomorrow. So we're going to leave tomorrow morning. It sucks packing out in heavy rain. It sucks packing in heavy rain. So we're gonna head back. There's a trail called the Whiskey Rapid Trail on Oxtong Lake. I think we're gonna check that one out on the way out and take advantage of uh, the park while we're here. Um, but yeah, here we are. We're about to haul out. Have fun, Bear. <laughs>